Hey everyone, I'm Doc. Welcome back to my rewatch of The Lord of the Rings. Okay, so we are at the 4.56 mark. Um, so cue up. I'm going to be starting here in 3, 2, 1. Um, and yeah, we're still in the montage. Oh, nice little underwater shot. That's definitely Peter Jackson. Mm, <laughs> that's cheesy. <laughs> Bad shot. Oh, yeah, now we're coming to, um, I mentioned earlier, there's gonna be two parts of the montage that really bothered me. We already talked about one, um, but here is the second one as we get a little glimpse of Gollum. That hand and the little bit of voice might have been okay if that was it. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we're in the Misty Mountains now. New Zealand is beautiful, I will say that. But here we get a much bigger, clo better look at Gollum. Totally unnecessary. Why are we showing him now? Um, it's, like, it's like when you see a trailer um, that's giving away, you know, the climax of the movie and you're like, no, why, why are you showing so much? Um, Yeah, and, and we're still we're still in the in the montage. This, this is the one part of the montage I will say that, it, like this bit of information was necessary, because we didn't have the Hobbit. We do need to somehow introduce the Hobbits and Bilbo and how he got the ring. There needed to be a way to do that. And if you're dealing with a three and a half hour movie. Um, and then you need a, a intro on top of that. I can understand why he went with a montage. Um, but did we, we need all that other? I mean, seeing this just makes you, again, like why didn't we start with The Hobbit? Hmm. And there's that familiar music of the Shire. We get the title finally, Fellowship of the Rings. We're, what are we, seven, almost seven and a half minutes in? That's okay. 60 years later, well, thousands of years later, right? <laughs> we went through a lot in that montage. Uh, I'm gonna stop there before we get into, um, meet, before we meet Frodo. Um, yeah, it just, I, I understand there was that necessity to get us into the story and let us know something about Bilbo and originally finding the ring. Um, I just don't think this was the best way to do it. Um, I, I know it wasn't. And um, to me, showing Gollum and revealing the ring is evil, That's it's like if Steven Spielberg had opened Jaws with a, a shot of the shark, you know, swimming up and attacking that woman. Um, if we'd seen the shark right away, we wouldn't be talking about Jaws 45, however many years later. Um, I wish Peter Jackson had learned from Spielberg to let's, let's not show everything in the first seven minutes. Let's, let's build mystery. Let's, let's create um, suspense here. Let's, we were introduced to this ring, but we don't know about its origins. We don't know why it's so bad. And then um, when it is revealed, it doesn't have to be like the climax. It can be at the Council of Elrond. Um, and then we um, get that back information we need then. Then it's like a treat to the audience because we, we haven't understood what's going on. And then it's revealed to us. Um, and, and, and for those of us that already know the story, we can like, oh, I know what's going on because, and you get that feeling of, of having some secret information. 
Either way, I think the choice to open with that montage, big mistake. Um, hopefully the last mistake, right? Um, that's it for this episode, um, and we will be continuing next time. See you then.